So Terry, moving on from the Italian bikes, we now come to one from the States, a Harley V-Rod, and you'd have to call this King Bling. It's certainly got a bit of bling about it, hasn't it? I've probably not seen one with as much aftermarket accessory gear than what this mm. bike has on it. It's an import out of Japan, mm -hmm. hence all the gear that's on it, mm. down to the custom billet wheels, the brakes, levers, grips, switch blocks. Little the rest. more you look at it, yep. it's got bling yep. all over it. It yeah, works exceptionally well. The wheels are really, really cool. I've never seen a V-Rod with uh, space wheels like that. Yeah, yeah the wider yeah. fat, fat ass rear end looks good. Yep. Polished swing arm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got a little rack on the back. Yep. Um, and I always thought when these V-Rods were first released, the back tire always looked too small. Yeah. It really did. You know, when you compare yeah. when these were out, and then you had the uh, Suzuki 1800 Boulevard yeah, coming the out with the big 260. That really sets this bike off. Now, yep. it's, uh, it's a pretty cool bike. It hasn't done a lot of K, so this can be registered in Queensland easily enough or anywhere in Australia. Yeah, no, it's got um, import approval. Um, it's got the, the tag and stuff with it. Yep. It is the first of the V-Rod. Mm -hmm. So being that, being 2002. Makes it pretty collectible. Very first of them. Nearly 20 year old. Well, it's hard yeah. to believe that those bikes. And at this point now, since the demise of the V-Ride, which finished a few years ago, their values have just gone nuts. Through the roof, yeah. Um, and I think something like this, with that amount of option on it, is, is definitely worth having. Mm. Okay, Doug. Well, this one comes up again this month at Grays Online. Uh, as I said, give us a call on 1300 Classic or shoot us an email to classic at grays.com.au.